Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concepts. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about testing film. And so we've had a lot of customers that have asked this question on how do you always know what film goes with what or anything like that. And so we thought we'd shoot a quick little video on a lot of the times what I do whenever I have a film that I do not know what the soak time is, what the activator amount is going to be or things like that. And then I can kind of test it and then I'm not wasting a whole bunch of film or possibly wasting the dip because I cut a big piece and I go to try to dip it and of course it's not the right setting so let's go ahead let's get started we'll show you guys a few things on how to test the film before you start dipping all right so what we've got here is we've got a brand new film that we're going to be testing now again I am not familiar with this film uh, it's brand new to us and so uh, one thing that we're going to do is is that we are going to just mainly just cut ourselves maybe about six inches of material and then we're going to go ahead and cut ourselves maybe a six by six square something like that just a few different blocks so that way we have a couple of different areas that we can test and so you can see that i've already got this already cut and laid out and then i've already got my first piece right here so let's go ahead let's lay this down on the water with our standard settings of one minute on the water and then a standard activation and just see where we're at and see if we can try to get any better so this is definitely going to be a very small piece of film but but that is all that we really need to know what we need to do with the film how it's going to work and if we need to change any settings so we'll go ahead We'll pull our dividers as tight as we can on this one. This one might have to cut it just a little bit like that. Not a big deal. And then of course we'll set our other divider. In this case, I'm probably going to smash this in a little bit, set that like that. So then that way I can try to keep it as tight and contained as possible all the way around. Now, I've got my time set standard. We got about a minute 10 on the water. Um, anywhere around a minute is kind of standard at about 80 to 90 degrees. Right now we're sitting at about 83. So we're going to test this and pretty much just see where we're at with it. Now testing wise, we're going to take the activator, spray it, and then we're gonna just get a glove and just dip it down in and see what we get. So now first thing is, is I'm looking to see, do I have glass on the water? And so it does look like that we have glass, but if you zoom in very closely right in here, you'll notice that we do have a lot of little areas. You, you can see where these areas right through there, how it's really, it almost looks like it's wrinkled a lot. And so that's going to tell me that we might need to let this sit a little bit longer on the water. Now again, we can go ahead and test it. We've gave it plenty of time for the activator to sit there. Wrapping wise, it does look pretty good going down onto the glove itself. But the one thing that I did see that did concern me was is that we did have a little bit of just more or less a wrinkle as we hit it with the activator. But overall, we do have very good color stretch. And again, we're not gonna have a lot because we only had a six inch piece, but we did have pretty good stretch. So in this case right here, I can see that we might need to let this sit just a little bit longer on the water. So we'll grab our next piece. We'll set it for maybe about 30 seconds higher, and then we'll see what happens with that. All right, so we'll try this again on our second attempt. We'll set it down at about a minute 30 on the water and then we'll see if we can't get that glass to come out a lot better instead of possibly having those wrinkles. Now in this case, I'm not gonna be as lucky as what we did before, so we will have a little bit of expansion right there. Not a big deal at all, but now that we have this, we'll let this sit for the minute 30 and then spray the activator again and see what results that we get. All right, so we've got a minute 35 and let's see if we can try to get rid of those wrinkles as we spray it with the activator. All right, so looking at this, it looks like the pattern does look a lot better. Now, again, you can clearly see we've got a little bit of wrinkling right in this area right through there. So we're definitely on the right track. So we definitely might wanna maybe add a little bit more soak time to this to try to get some of that wrinkling out as it's activated, but overall, we can test the dip just to see where we're at with it. 
see if we get any wrinkles along right in here, which we are not. So that is still good. It's still wrapping pretty well all the way around. Now again, we maxed out the film itself, but looking at it, we're still getting a pretty good dip all the way around. Even down into here, we've got some stretch, which is of course inevitable with the amount of film that we had, but the overall pattern is still looking really good. So in this case right here, we might maybe go another 30 seconds just to see what we can get with it. See if we can get that really glassed out look, kind of like what you see with this reflection right over here. And you see how that is nice and glassed out good. So we might even go a little bit more. So we'll lay this last one down and then we'll go ahead, start our timer at the two minutes. Hopefully this is going to be the last one that we need. So now looking at this right here, we can clearly see we have little to no wrinkles all the way through there. We've got a beautiful glassed out surface. And again, we can come back, check the dip itself and see how it wraps all the way around. So now that we have that, looking at this, we've still got really good color. Now again, of course, as we stretch it from this area here all the way back, it is going to get lighter, which is what we wanna see. We're not getting any pixelation or anything like that. We've got really good color all the way through here until it gets pretty much to the max of where it can be stretched at. And then of course it stretches out, but the color is still showing up really good. We wrapped all the way around the fingers and we've got really great coverage all the way around. So I'm going to say with this film right here, this is going to be a two minute film on the water with a standard amount of activator. And that's going to give us our best results so far. So as you can clearly see, using those little squares like that really helps out because it gives you the ability to test the film, but also not waste a whole bunch of film because possibly it might have a different soak time. It might need a little bit different activator. It might even need a different dwell time for the activator. So you can change all of those settings as you're doing it. And then also you can make sure that you're dialed in for the settings that's going to work with that film that you're using. Because as you all know, every film is different. Most films are pretty much about the same, but they are going to be a little bit different from either a longer soak time or a little bit more activator, a little bit less activator or things like that. And those all little things can make a world of difference whenever you are dipping your parts into the film itself. So hopefully this video has really helped you guys out. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them below. We'd always love to hear from you, as well as if you like the video, definitely give us a thumbs up on that. Uh, YouTube always loves that, to see that people like the videos, as well as if you're interested in content like this, definitely hit that subscribe button. We put out videos on everything in the hydrographics industry, as well as helping you get better as a whole in the hydrographics. If you haven't already, definitely check out the links in the description. That's going to get you to the website, liquidconcepts.com. That has everything that you're gonna need for the hydrographics, including your film, your activator, all of your paints, primers, clear coats, even trainings and equipment to do the process itself. It is all there on the website, so definitely make sure to check that out. I'm Brian from Liquid Concepts, and this is how we customize your world. We'll see you guys next time.